Thank you all for joining us this evening to celebrate the achievements of our graduate students and for accommodating something so last minute. Most of you know me. Uh, I'm Dr. Jamie Newman, Associate Dean for Graduate Studies and Research in the College of Applied and Natural Sciences. I'd like to take a minute to introduce some of the other people present. Uh, Dr. Bill Campbell, who's the Director of the School of Biological Sciences. Dr. Gary Kennedy, the Dean of the College of Applied and Natural Sciences. Dr. Ramu Ramachandran, the Dean of the Graduate School. Dr. Terry McConathy, Provost of the University, and Dr. Les Geis, President of Louisiana Tech. Thank you all for joining us. I also want to let everyone know that this is being recorded so that we can share this video with family, friends, and students in the future. And finally, just a quick rundown of our program for this evening. I will make a few opening remarks before I to our faculty advisor who will introduce their students. Following the comments by advisors and staff, Zoom photos here and congratulating and celebrating our students. This has not been what any of us imagined or planned for. These students have had to take classes, share research, and defend their knowledge on subject matter over Zoom, something most of us haven't heard of since March 13th. Our students have missed out on so many experiences, and I couldn't let them leave without having a chance to say goodbye and celebrate with them. For me, many of us, the day we took our qualifying exams, finals, and defended our thesis or dissertation to complete our graduate degree programs was a momentous day full of celebration, followed by a lot of sleep. I had the opportunity to present to a full auditorium of friends, family, and advisors, and go out that evening to celebrate. Today, I hope that we can recreate some of that celebration with each other and create a new memory of graduate school for these five talented and accomplished students. So with that, I'm going to introduce the students one at a time and let their advisors say a little bit about them and then let them share a little bit about their own experience. We'll start with the master's students and go alphabetically and then the PhD students. So I would like to introduce uh, Dr. Julia Earl and Dr. Jennifer Hill, um, who sort of co-advised uh, Rebecca Cram. Hi. Yeah, I know. Unmute myself. That would be good. Um, so Rebecca came to Louisiana from good old up, upstate in New England, came down to Louisiana and um, started out in my lab and has been and has worked really hard for her masters and I think has been a model for what happens when life throws you curveballs and you show up with persistence and ingenuity and hard work and it can take you a lot of cool places. So she's done some really intro work on some of our crayfish project. And then she started work with Dr. Earl, um, you know, to finish up her research. Yeah, so um, Rebecca has been um, working in my lab for about the last year. And she's really done some amazing work. She's pushed our lab forward in some different directions that um, I probably wouldn't have been able to do without some help. Um, she's developed a way to raise aquatic beetles in the lab and done an, her own experiment. And she's also been working on um, identifying beetles and she's um, writing up a publication right now, um, which is very exciting um, and some really amazing work. Um, so I just wanna congratulate her as well because she's done a really, really great job and it's been a joy to have her um, working in my lab for the last year. Congratulations, Rebecca. Thanks. Are we saying stuff after? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it's our first one. <laughs> yeah, um, so we're like describing the research first. Yeah, whatever you wanna say. Okay. Um, well, I've had a lot of fun at Tech. Um, I've gotten to help, as Dr. Earl say, with um, writing up a manuscript based on an experiment that was conducted in her lab um, in 2018. And um, basically, they um, collected data, like environmental data, and so we're just um, using that data now as uh, models and seeing if we can maybe predict species richness and diversity in beetle community assemblages based on the different environmental factors that we looked at. Um, so 
It's been good. I met my partner at Tech and had a baby since being in my master's and still graduating on time. <laughs> so it's been good. Awesome. Well, congratulations. Uh, next is Dr. Pat Hein. Well, is Pat here? Pat's Probably not. not. <laughs> <laughs> well, next would be Drake Hines, who was a uh, mentored by Dr. Pat Heinmarsh, and I can't say what Dr. Heinmarsh would say, but I can say a few <laughs> things about Drake, who I met when he concurrently enrolled in our graduate program and took my research methods class and was adamant that he wasn't going to do a thesis project despite working on research as an undergraduate. So he and I had many chats about why he should continue in the lab um, and continue on the research track while he applied to medical school. And I I don't think he hates me for that. So <laughs> I'm really proud of you, Drake. Congratulations. Thank you. No, I really, I'm glad you twisted my arm. Uh, it's something I enjoyed. It was, um, I worked on a GFP biosensor that I was just basically trying to get it to work because someone, uh, Claire Jones had made it and I was trying to get it to work. And what it did was react to the oxidative stress made by antibiotics and so if I could get it to work to react, then I could uh, administer new molecules to it to hopefully find new antibiotic molecules, because in today's world, we need new antibiotics. And it's something I really enjoy doing. I'm glad Dr. Newman pushed me into doing it. And uh, it's, it's, it was challenging. And with Dr. Heinmarsh's guidance, you know, it's something, a master's degree is one of those things that it, you're going to get out what you put into it. And so I really enjoyed that aspect of it. But with that being said, I also love the camaraderie of Car uh, everyone at Carson Taylor. You know, someone like Jason, who really helped me get my statistics going because microbiologists do not know how to do statistics at all. <laughs> and Dr. Manis really helped. Morgan really helped me uh, with my presentation. Jason had to show me six times how to do statistics because it just does not click when you're not uh, an ecologist sometimes. <laughs> Uh, but I just really love the atmosphere that, that is in Carson Taylor and the biology department. And I, I just made a ton of friends and just really enjoyed it. And I'm, I'm glad I did it. Uh, and uh, hopefully we'll still be friends with y'all and come back to see y'all when I move back to Shreveport. Oh, we hope so. We hope we'll see you again. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, and our third master's student is Jason Ray and his mentor, Jennifer, Dr. Jennifer Hill, will introduce him. So uh, Jason comes from South Louisiana, uh, but I did learn that he, he got to learn that he was somewhat a stranger to the marsh, but we did learn that the marsh gods really love him. Uh, <laughs> he uh, has uh, done his research looking at um, interactions between uh, blue crabs and snails in marsh environments and trying to look at how pesticides uh, might affect those interactions between them. Um, so he's done some caging studies where he got to sink up to his waist up in the marsh mud, uh, which is, you know, referred to as being blessed by the marsh gods. Um, and he then, you know, got to enjoy what is, you know, potentially really fun about being an ecologist, going to Lowe's and designing and experiments with buckets and PVC pipe, um, <laughs> which is what he did. He constructed 36 mesocosms out of big blue buckets and cut, I don't know how much PVC and learned how to grow marsh plants behind Carson Taylor and you know, measured, I don't know how many plants and how many leaves, but quite a few uh, to complete his project and found some really interesting effects that I think we're gonna be uh, publishing, hopefully in a really nice journal here soon. We're working on finishing up um, his paper that we can um, submit to uh, probably ecology or ecology letters, which will be a really nice accomplishment. He's worked really hard. Um, you know, maybe broken a few PVC cutters, but uh, all in all, done a really good job. Congratulations, Jason. Can y'all hear me? Okay. Um, so I just want to say a little bit more about my research and then thank some people. But uh, so as Dr. Hill mentioned, my research tried to look at how sublethal effects or sublethal amounts of insecticides can affect predator-prey interactions. Um, we basically wanted to see how it would affect a food web um, with 
blue crabs, snails, and spartina, which is the cord grass um, that she was talking about. And uh, we found some cool stuff. So yeah, hopefully we can work on it this summer and get it published. Uh, but I did want to thank some people. So like Dr. Hill mentioned, I am from South Louisiana. Um, and while some aspects of North Louisiana never really understood, um, such as not being able to buy alcohol until 12 on Sundays, uh, I thoroughly enjoyed my time at Tech. My professors were very knowledgeable. They always were willing to help me and they truly cared about my success. I'd especially like to thank Dr. Hill, Dr. Earl, and Dr. Newman uh, for being true rock stars. And in addition to a quality education, uh, Tech gave me the opportunity to conduct research, like I mentioned, which while frustrating and challenging at times, changed my approach and, ha and how I analyze problems and also changed my view of what true learning entails. I'm also thankful for all the friendships I made at Tech, especially my lab mates, John Tumanello, Taylor Claymall, not Clement. Uh, Rebecca Cram and Brittany Hutton, without whom I never would have completed my research. And even though I'm moving back to South, back South to Baton Rouge to become a tiger at LSU Vet School, a piece of me will always be a bulldog. So I just wanted to uh, thank some people. Well, thank you, Jason. It's been fun having you in the in the program. So yeah, you, who, who got your master's? I know it's not like an official graduation or. Uh, hooding sort of you can wear your hoods if you want to um if you can figure out how to put it on i usually can't so it's good i'm sitting down and you can't see the back of it i think i got the front right usually for those of you who maybe don't know on the friday before graduation i guess it was four years ago bill we started yeah doing a graduation reception and it started with eight graduate students we had it was one of the largest groups of graduate students we had graduate at one time and so we did a special ceremony hooding ceremony for them the day before graduation and that tradition has continued every quarter for undergraduate and graduate students since and so that was another reason i couldn't just let today go by although today is not the day before graduation it's as close as we could get so I now want to introduce, we have two PhD students. Uh, first will be uh, Dr. Cal Mary Calderer Moore will introduce our uh, co-advised student, Haley Barnett. It has been an absolute pleasure to have had the opportunity to serve as Haley's PhD um, advisor in, in MSNT. Haley is one of the brightest and most industrious PhD students I've had the pleasure to work with. Her, I think Dr. Newman would agree with me when we say that her contagious enthusiasm, her attitude and diligent work ethic will be greatly missed in our two labs. Um, Haley's dissertation has focused on um, studying the influence of extracellular cues um, from hydrogel biomaterials on stem cell fate. Um, during her time here, she has already published or been author on three papers, one of which is a first author paper. She is currently working on finishing up two additional papers. She's presented her work at the university, state, and national level and has received several best presentation awards for it. Um, in addition, Haley was one of our Lost Space graduate student assistantships. She had three student assistantships for her work throughout her time here. Um, Haley is also finishing up because a PhD wasn't enough in four years on top of having a baby. Um, she is also finishing up with her Six Sigma Black Belt certification. So Haley, congratulations. Congratulations, Haley. Sorry, you're going to hear Harvard Babylon too. <laughs> Like Dr. Calder Moore was saying, I worked on a collaborative tissue engineering project between her lab and Dr. Newman's. Um, tissue engineering looks to repair or replace lost or damaged tissue. This is really important for yeah. people suffering with muscular dystrophies, tumor resections, or anyone that's had a traumatic injury such as car wrecks or our veterans who were wounded in battle. Um, I focused on being able to control stem cells using a hydrogel biomaterial, but before we can do that, we have to understand how the environment influences cell fate. So that's what we've been working on. Um, I've looked at bone differentiation, fat differentiation, and muscle differentiation, which I know Dr. Newman was not excited to do muscle differentiation, but literally the day before my defense, it all worked out and came together. So that was perfect. 
Um, a few people that I want to thank at Tech, uh, Dr. Campbell and Dr. Kimmage for allowing me to find a way to keep my assistantship whenever I had my daughter spring of last year um, and all the guidance that Dr. Campbell has provided over the last four years. Um, he really has a great atmosphere in Carson Taylor Hall. Um, of course, my advisors that I can't say much about or I'm going to cry because they really become friends and not just mentors. It's been a pleasure working with them and being a leader in their lives. And one of the most important people that I've met while I was at Tech is my best friend, India. I'm so glad we got put on the same project together. Uh, we started out just as lab mates and now we're best friends and we talk pretty much every day and I'm proud of the things she's accomplished and there's no way I would have finished this PhD and master's on time without her. So I just wanna thank them for everything they've done. Thank you. I cried, so there. <laughs> um, well, Heath, I guess you can you can hood your wife if you want to. <laughs> oh, no, you, you gotta wear a hat. He's a tiger. You gotta wear a hat. I think graduate school, perhaps sometimes more than undergraduate, is really a family family adventure. So um, I'm glad that some of the, the babies and the spouses and partners can be here today. So congratulations. Jamie, since Haley is modeling the new tech regalia, Haley, can, can you spin? I want to see that back. Can you really model it for us? <laughs> it looks great on you. Congratulations. And our, our final PhD student today is Fang Lee, who will be introduced by his advisor, Dr. Yuri Vosyanov. Uh, I know Fang for about, um, uh, well, many, many, about 10 years. And uh, he has an MS in molecular sciences and nanotechnology. And the title of his dissertation um, uh, was Gene Editing in Mammalian Cells by Flip Recombinase uh, Variants. And uh, the main objective of Fang's research was the development of efficient genome engineering uh, approaches. And Fang primarily worked with the site-specific uh, DNA companies uh, fleet and generated a, a really huge number of its variants and tested these variants in bacterial and uh, mammalian cells. And Fang also took part in the development of the uh, hybrid tyrosine recombinases which are composed of two uh, modules, recombinase and a DNA binding uh, domain with programmable target uh, specificity. And in addition, Fang also experimented with CRISPR uh, Cas9 system. But uh, Fang worked not only on uh, developing genome engineering approaches, but also on many, many other interesting uh, projects, including generation of uh, induced reporting stem cells and uh, their differentiation into uh, melanocytes. Fang has uh, two published uh, work and uh, hopefully we are going to get the third one soon. And uh, in addition, uh, Fang's, the results of Fang's uh, research were presented to the number of meetings, including the annual meetings of the American Society of Gene and Cell Therapy, Keystone Symposia, FACEP Summer Research uh, Conferences, Gordon Conferences, and uh, Cold Spring Harbor laboratory meetings and other smaller meetings. So I enjoyed working with uh, Fang. He's a hard worker and really, really hard worker. So I really enjoyed working with him. Yeah. Congratulations, Fang. Thank you. Congratulations, Fang. Thank you. Thank you all. I'm so glad I can see so many people. I have to say thank you. So that's my work as Dr. Wozinov already said, let's focus on the genomic engineering for make a approach to make a protein to change the DNA. So let's have some quiet work and I hopefully the publication will be get really soon. So I know some people said, thank you. Without you, I cannot finish my PhD or something like this. But for me, it's too real, like without Dr. Campbell's help, it's 
too hard for me to even stay in CTH. And uh, yeah, of course, Dr. Wozinov, he's so energetic person. And yeah, Dr. Newman, she really gave me a lot of help. And Dr. Ramu, you know me, my situations. Yeah, that's my word. Thank you. Thank you all. Um, a little bit too exciting. <laughs> Thank you. And I miss the college. Not too much, but <laughs> third lifetime with me, like, really? Yeah. <laughs> too long for everyone to remember. No, not remember. She even do not exist in your member. And yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Fang. And congratulations. So I just want to say one more time, congratulations to all of you. You really have been an asset to our unit and our program. You all have GA'd for classes and done really significant research and built a community that we really value as faculty. So thank you. Congratulations. And I would now like to open it up for some toasts so we can celebrate. And we will start that with our university president, Dr. Geis. Oh, I get to go first. You're okay. first. Okay. <laughs> Thought I told you that. <laughs> well, listen, uh, Rebecca and Drake and Jason, Haley, and Fang, congratulations. This is really a huge accomplishment. I, I know how much work masters and PhDs are. Uh, so we're really proud of you. I'm honored to be your president and really uh, thank your advisors for the work that they've done. I know that they put their heart and soul into you and uh, you've benefited from that. And it just doesn't happen without caring advisors. So thanks so much to them. And um, uh, so I'll offer a toast if I can. And I lost a cup, but I did find a glass that has <laughs> a little bit of the shiny stuff in it. Uh. <laughs> But to, uh, to all of you who are soon to be graduated, uh, may you now go on to the real world to become educated. This is where it starts. And uh, hopefully as professionals, you're gonna continue to grow and benefit from the education that you receive. But may you always remember that what lies behind you and what lies before you are small matters when compared to what lies within you. Uh, don't forget, uh, uh, what's really important and it's what's within you, it's important. And if you'll let that shine, you'll be successful. Um, may you know that 20 years from now, you'll be more disappointed about the things that you didn't do than the ones that you did do. Uh, so get out and explore and do some things that you didn't anticipate. May you choose a path of happiness and health as well as prosperity. Uh, and may you go on to even better things and never lose touch with us. And so we wish you the best of fortune and uh, as you move on to your next challenge in the University of Life. And so here's to your future. Cheers. Cheers. And I hope you will come on May the 15th so I can hood you or present your diploma. Yeah, I think Haley will be, plans to be here in August. I think the other four will be off to the next stage of their lives. Understood. So, so go oh, ahead, please. I know. So yeah, I'd like to um, propose a toast to, to Rebecca, Drake, Jason, Haley, and Fang. Um, I, I think listening to what you've had to say and listening to what your um, uh, faculty advisors and mentors have had to say, I think we, um, well, I know because I've been in the building with you, but uh, I think we have a, a, a little better feel of, of the kinds of things that you've uh, been doing. Um, and so as everyone is acknowledging, this is a great accomplishment for you uh, from people that are just a couple of years older than you, such as myself. Um, this is a good time uh, of your life. Um, it, it, it really is. Uh, you, you may see it better in, in, in the rearview mirror than you do now, but this is an exciting time. Um, I'd also like to, to say to all five of you, thank you for the work that, that you've done in Carson Taylor Hall. Uh, all of you it has served as graduate assistants helping teaching um, several of our classes. 
uh, we can't function without that kind of help. So that's been great for us. And, and, and uh, I would like to propose a toast to your continued success. Cheers. I open the Zoom to anyone else who would like to, to say anything, graduates or faculty. Well, I'd like to say congratulations. Uh, for those of you who did a thesis or a dissertation, I, you know, I, I, I enjoyed looking at that and reading that. And, uh, you know, I always learn a lot and learn all the research that's going on in the college. And it, it reflects a lot of, of work. And you can tell that uh, you guys put a lot of your heart and soul into it. And uh, I know navigating through and making corrections and doing all those things and dealing with the graduate school, no reflection on Dr. Ramu, but uh, it's, all a, it's all a challenge and it's all part of it. And not only that, you for this quarter, so different from any other quarter, you adapt, had to adapt to a, a new normal and, uh, and get through. And uh, so my hat's off to you for that. And uh, I raise a toast to you on, for all your hard work. Thank you, Dr. Kennedy. Just very quickly, I'd like to say congratulations to the graduates. It's a long, hard road, but you've, you've obviously excelled in what you're doing and you've, you've laid a foundation for what you're going to do for the rest of your life. And I think it's a, a very solid foundation. I thank the faculty and the advisors and Dr. Campbell and Dr. Kennedy and of course Dr. Geis, but I heartfelt congratulations. These are difficult times, but you, you are the people who are going to lead us forward through these times and beyond. So well done. Thank you, Dr. McConathy. Zoom is funny because you have to wait for people to unmute. So the awkward pauses. <laughs> Uh, I don't want to be the only one who didn't say anything. I, I told Jamie that I'll join this meeting on the condition that she didn't ask me to talk, but now I'm, I'm, I'm volunteering. volunteering. You're volunteering. I didn't I'm volunteer. volunteer. Right. Yeah, thank you, Jamie. Uh, I, I want to congratulate all of you, and I'm, I'm so, so happy that I had a tiny part in getting you out the door, and, and I hope you have a wonderful life, wonderful careers, and I hope you all make amazing contributions to science and uh, health and human life. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? I will finish it if there's nobody else. So I just want to thank you all again for doing this crazy experiment on Zoom. I think it went all right. And I actually really enjoyed it. So Bill, I think we'll have to incorporate some aspects of this in the future. Yeah, Advisors really and students sharing on their research. It was really nice to hear what you guys have done. And I will certainly miss seeing you all in Carson Taylor. Um, that's what makes me so happy to go to work every day is seeing all of you guys and having those interactions with you. And I'm fortunate to get to know all of you because you all have to take research methods with me. So um, from the very beginning, I get to know you and watch you go through your journey. So I'm really proud to have been a part of that for each of you and glad I get to see you one more time before you head off on that next path. Um, so congratulations and cheers to you. So I think that concludes our, our little ceremony and thank you all again for participating. Um, I hope you have a good evening and a good rest of the quarter. Um, that's all I got. I don't know how to wrap it up. <laughs> I, I will let you know that it, we're trying to get the research labs open over the next week or so. So uh, hang on. Um, you know, the governor's order made it a lot easier for us to do that, but we'll, we'll get back with you very soon. Yeah, we're excited. We're ready. Yeah. They didn't think they missed research until they couldn't do it anymore. And now, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> do, so, all right. Well, thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Good night. Thank you. Thank, thank you, you Jamie, for organizing it. Yeah, Thanks. thank yeah. you. Great job, Jamie. <laughs> Bye, all. Congratulations again. Congratulations, all. Thank you.